Alright guys, this is uh, Wiz Gaming. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install um, the Destroyer ROM that I, I made a review on and I would also show you how to return to your stock ROM uh, the Sprint was. So um, basically you'll need this app. It's um, go to settings. It's called ROM Manager. It's right there. Uh, sorry, the camera's kind of crappy. Um, but you could download for free off of the market, so ROM manager, click on that. Go to download ROM, um, scroll down to see evil stocks and radios, click on that. From there you have a choice from the new ROM, which is the 4.22.651.2 or the uh, before the update ROM, which was uh, 3.70.651.1. I'm just going to go ahead and install that one since I already have it downloaded. So I click download and see how it's already downloaded. This is what it's going to do. When you do it, if you want to come back to the ROM you're currently on or whatever, just make sure you click on all three of them, which is backup existing ROM, white data and cache, white uh, Dalvik cache. Um, I already uh, backed up my, my current ROM, so I'm not going to do that. So press OK. And then it's going to ask, press OK to reboot into Clockwork Mod, uh, Recovery, Continue, then select OK. So now it's going to go ahead and... Sorry about the quality of this fucking video. I'm using a Coolpix uh, L100 to make the video, and then I, th I would think, you know, it's going to be a good video quality, but I guess not. So here it's going to, you know, update, uh, wipe the Dalvik cache and the other one, and uh, it's going to install the stock ROM. So now it's doing that, it's wiping, copying the files. So, from here, I'm just going to let it go do its thing, and once it comes back up, I'll start the video again. Alright, so I'm back. Um, here, they did this, um, what it needed to do, you know, install the ROM and stuff, so now it's rebooting. So here we are, we're just going to wait for it to reboot. Oh, and also on the new update, um, you can return, like say you updated and you unreaded your phone and everything and then updated to the 2.3.3 gingerbread. Well, um, you can go back to the 2.2 uh, the or whichever one it was before that and reboot your phone and, you know, because uh, this uh, destroyer ROM runs on 2.3.3, so... I guess you don't really need that uh that update. But some people did uh unroot their phones that way they, they can do that update. You know, I guess curiosity. So um well basically uh un I did that, you know, I unrooted my phone and I rooted it back, you know, so so I could get that update. Oh, by the way, once the new update comes, or the, you know, like, the new root method for the updated, uh, software, I'll go ahead and, uh, post it up, that way, um, you know, if you want to do it, you can do it. So, here we are, back to the original stock ROM from Sprint. From here, I'll show you how to install the destroyer ROM. I guess I'll break this video down into two videos because, you know, it is two processes that I am doing, so, next, skip.